Guys, it's finally here. I've talked about this forever. The home gym, over a year in the making, and I have my friends here, Hafthor Bjornsson, the mountain, Knut, our good friend, many of you already know. I said, what two better guys to have unveil the home gym with than my two friends right here? So, congratulations, it's time for the first look. Congratulations. Congratulations to them, they get the opportunity to see it. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Damn, that's nice. Isn't that sick? Dude, I'm so hyped. It looks so good. It's like one inch thick rubber, but then this part is like an inlay platform. You can even feel it like when you stomp, it's like this part's hard, but this is soft. So you can like do that. Yeah, it's your, yeah you can do the whole like thousand of little. Uh, the strongest deadlifter in the world can, can drop his weight here. And it'll only damage the house a little bit. <laughs> Look at that. That's a badass logo. Thanks. Yeah. I'm gonna put mirrors here. That's why it's not painted in yet. I had Powerlift did the whole gym. I went with Powerlift because whenever I used to work at SMU, and we actually worked with the same sales rep that did my home gym here, did our gym at SMU like four or five years ago. You can see the equipment, the personalized. We got the OTK inlaid. We got OTK right here on the on the J's. And look at that. Look at how they did that. This unit here is pretty sick. Like you can move this up, do some triceps, move this down, do some biceps. You can come here, do some back yeah. exercises. This unit is actually sick. This whole rack here, like there's so much you can do here. I mean, even you can do pull-ups here. Look at this. You can do pull-ups here. Look at this. <laughs> 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 oh, six, like, <laughs> guy that's 6'9 with the pull-ups. I can't even jump up. <laughs> <laughs> Feels really solid. You can feel that it is quality equipment yeah. that is important. So let's go over and let's actually talk about all the equipment that, that we have. Let's start with something that if you've been watching my old streams and everything, you're very familiar with. This is the pit chart. So I bought this at my old house mm -hmm. because I, I have back injuries. I have the herniated discs and stuff. I can't really do a whole lot of weight on squat and, and really load my back anymore. But how this works is I just take this belt. I can just hook this on right here. Almost the same way as a squat. I mean, you can't really 100% replace it. It's like hip loaded. So you go down here, boom, right here, all that right there, then come up. Right there, we have an attachment to be able to do dips, chest press. The only problem with it in the home gym is that it has a very big like footprint. Cause you don't have a lot of space in, the, in a garage, right? Mm -hmm. Next thing, PCD, posterior chain developer. This is good, oh, yes. Yeah, glute hams. Reverse hypers. I could even do single leg hamstrings on this. I could I could go right here and do single leg hamstrings if I wanted to. 
boom, just like that. I want to focus in the gym a lot on leg stuff because, especially because my back is, is injured, I feel like one of the things that you don't get at most home gyms is opportunities to work like your quads and your hamstrings and stuff. Especially that good leg equipment that is. I've, yeah. I've never seen that in a home gym. Speaking of which, this machine is a combination, or like it is now, it's used for hamstring curls, lying hamstring curls, lie that way. And you can also switch it up. Yeah. So you can go the prone lying hamstring curls, or you can sit it up and do leg yeah, extensions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's super cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, think about how much space I save because it's like, I'm so excited about this. I would love to try this machine just to like see how. Yeah, how about Is that, can, I, can I move it back or? Yeah, 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 I think it back too. I think this, the whole, the whole thing is adjustable. Yeah, this is nice. Oh yeah. Yeah? This is great. Look at that. And this stack on this goes up to 300 pounds. That's a lot. Oh, that's a lot, yeah. yeah. I really like how, how wide this path is. Yeah. The seat is quite wide as well. It's very handy for guys my size, so it's yeah. just for... People like my wife are tiny and also big guys like myself, so that's good. The one thing I think the home gym is kind of like lacking right now, I originally wanted like a big dumbbell rack. That's what I wanted, because in my head, like it's just like, oh, you see the big dumbbells, that's sick. They told me to save money and space is go with the power blocks. So the power blocks are, these are, these are adjustable weights, like I, a lot of people I think have seen like the Bowflex ones. These go up to 90 pounds. Lift them and you can see how it works. Like you just take it right here and they, they have a clamp that goes in and keeps all the different weights. This is something new. We did not have this at SMU whenever I was there. Is their, their dumbbell benches specifically. They have these like uh, rotating like uh, utilities. You basically have a pad. So if I want to do like split squats or anything with dumbbells or like any sort of lunges, I can have my foot up here. Yeah. And then go down like that instead of having to put my, my foot on the bench. If I want to do anything with dumbbells or any sort of like split squash. It's actually quite nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah it yeah. feels good. But the big boy, the very exciting big part, the centerpiece of the gym is the custom rack that they built for me, specific to what I needed and what I asked for. So I told them, I said, basically these are the exercises I want to do. Can you build something that is a custom rack that we just put in the back of the gym? and it does everything that I want. And the guy goes, yep, we can. And we can do all the back stuff, all the lat pull downs. We can have your, your power rack, obviously, in the center. And then over there, we also have like the dual cable pulley system. So those are the three main pieces. But going in a little bit more on it, this is not only like the lat pull down here, but it also has a low row. Super cool. So you can sit, you can do seated low rows. Oh yeah, the landmine attachment. This yeah. is actually great. Yeah, and my the only thing I see missing in the gym. Okay. Attachment to that. So you put the the the, the barbell on uh -huh. here and you have a like a T-bar attachment. Yeah, yeah, but you, you can use this. Yeah. yeah. You could use this one. Yeah, you you hit the bar in this one. And yeah. Oh well, yeah, I've seen people do that before. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Right. yeah. They, they also sell specific units that go a T-bar there. Yeah, yeah. The cable. Yeah, we have the triceps. Biceps. Yeah. Look at the end caps on these bars. Boom. You got the, the crown. It's upside down. Let me flip it. There you go. Look at that. So my, my whole gym is all S-Man and OTK'd out, which is sick. It will, so. be, it will be a lot of work to do when uh, Asmund will throw us out of OTK. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the dual cable pulley system. I got this originally. I said I wanted something to where I could do like, you know, if I wanted to do triceps. Yeah, lower. this goes higher or lower. <laughs> yeah, all, you take it all the way up for half four. Yeah. For Good me time. now, I can't reach it. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Yeah. This is fantastic. But what I was worried about was not having a cable tower. Because I, I love the cable tower in the gym. Because, you know, we were able to do like tech flies and yeah. all kinds of stuff on that. And with this, it's shorter. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's not the same. But I, but I went and I was just trying it. I think, yeah. I think at the end, it, it's, it's a little bit weaker. But at the end of the day, it's still pretty good. Yeah. If you combine it a little bit more like pressing. Yeah. So you do this. Yeah. yeah that's what instead of just, because if you do this, it's from here, it's no more. Yeah, yeah, at the end, at the end it's really So good. if you just do this, you have it all the way. Yeah, so you make it more of a press at the end. Yeah. I'm so excited to get to be able to use this thing. And this is something that, I've been waiting on this for a year. 
you know? So this is like, I started talking about this before I even moved into this house and to be able to finally get it in with COVID and everything else and the flooring is big time. So the whole gym, I know people are gonna ask, the whole gym, it costs about $50,000. So with the flooring, with the flooring, uh, but that's also not including air conditioning because we got air conditioning at the last house. I tried to put together like a janky beginning of COVID home gym, and horrible without good AC, horrible. Here we got the speakers. You can show the speakers. Uh, yeah, and this thing is, this thing is loud. So it's going to be awesome. Workout streams are going to be incredible. We got the TV set up. I'm going to be able to have like donations playing. I can hear TTS. It's, it's going to be fantastic. So the workout streams in here are going to be Super sick. Amazing. Everything you need for whole gym, whole home gym, everything. Yeah. Literally. If I had to add one thing next, what would you guys say I should try and add next? Like, you, you can train everything here. So, there isn't like one machine that is needed. You can always supplement with 100 different machines. Yeah. There's, there's not like one that is specifically needed, I think. No, literally, like this stuff you have here, you have everything you need to get strong and fit. Yeah. I mean, if there's anything you would possibly want to add in, and then, then, then maybe a, a, a salt bike or a treadmill for you to like do some conditioning, you know? Yeah. That's about it. Well, I mean, I, instead of doing cardio, I thought I'll just lift the weights faster. So yeah. that's my I'll just lift them faster. We're going to go out and run. And yeah, we're going to run outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're it's actually like a big hill here. So yeah. Yeah. It's like sprint of the hill. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just go run outside. That's fine. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm glad, I'm glad you guys got to see it. I'm glad uh, we're finally gonna get a chance to show everybody who watches the YouTube. And make sure to subscribe to the YouTube if you haven't. Uh, make sure to check out uh, Half Core stuff. Make sure to check out Canute stuff. Uh, good friends of mine who uh, have been helping out a ton with Camp Canute and Half Core coming from Iceland after he saw our strong man and was like, hell, you know what? I'll, I'll show up and have some fun with you guys. So it's been uh, it's been a blast. It's been a really good time. It's been a really good trip. Good month. Good good week. I wish this was done at the beginning of Camp Canoe, but at the same time, we ended up having so many people. There's no way we could no. have ten people training in here. Like this gym is good for three people, maybe four, doing a bit different uh, yeah. exercises, but. 10 people, yeah, way too much. Way it'd be hard to fit in there, but this yeah. is a home gym. It's yeah. not supposed to be 10 people at the same time, it's not supposed to be a commercial gym anyway. So, so I like it, yeah. No, I'm glad. Look, I got I got the seal of approval from, from, uh, from these guys, that's good. I'm happy, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Click the bell and leave a comment, click the bell and leave a comment, <laughs> and subscribe, subscribe, guys. Yeah.